to shine on their platform, on their podcast, and, on their thing. And it's like, I have enough accolades as it is. I don't need to look any better. I can look bad. I'm fine with that. Um, and so if me looking bad makes other people look good by comparison, that's great. And, and with, with sports, it's like, this is because I'm having fun when I'm doing that. Everyone's having fun. But, but it's like with sports, it's like, why is winning so important? Why? Why is this game so goddamn essential? Even if it's a game where it's like win, lose, stuff like that. If you're having fun and you're developing as a player, or you're developing as anything possible. It's, it's this net zero mentality and everything, even outside of sports. It's like, if I get, you lose, or if you, you lose, I get, you know. So that brings up an interesting point because one of the things when I was a senior in high school and we were playing water polo was the coaches made a decision and changed something up in a game in a major tournament for us. Okay. And we ended up losing that game. Mm -hmm. And we lost to a team we should not have lost to. And all what? of us were... What? Pissed. What rules do they change? They get five points before the whistle blows. No, they didn't. They didn't Ding. change the rules. They just they put in like a player that shouldn't have been get 15 in. balls in the pool. They're like go. <laughs> it's now dodgeball, water polo. What, what rules did they change? They didn't change a the rule. They put in a player that was a freshman that wasn't yes. ready to play goalie or what. I, I don't remember exactly what happened on your team. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So like pulled like a senior out and put a freshman in and did some stuff that like we didn't agree with because we had been playing together for a number of years sure and we ended up losing this game against a team that we beat like by double digit goals the rest of the year okay and all of us every senior myself elliot luke kevin like all of us were pissed i i was pissed because i got kicked in the nuts that game oh, fun. really really hard to the point to where I won't talk about it, but it was not good. They were gone. They obliterated, lost them in the pool. No, 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 no. no. They sank to the deep. Uh, bleep this out, Will. Uh. And so we were livid. Uh -huh. But in that gave us so much more motivation to absolutely take care of business when we were in the pool. Uh -huh. Because ultimately, we were not playing well that game. But that loss led to the state championship and the opinion of the coaches and the opinion of some other people that were on the viewpoint of like, we were a very good team. But that brought us from our overconfidence that brought us back down to earth. Okay. And also I see if you were beating this other team in to double digit numbers, maybe the coaches were like, let's give the freshmen a chance and also maybe this other team a chance. Well, the rest of the year we did that. This was the second game we had played against this team. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I see. Um, and we had destroyed them the first time, but yeah. Just to give them a chance. Didn't they? Well, you Don't you bet they felt good? Oh, finally. yeah, 100%. We beat off, we've, we've ended the streak. I bet they were elated. Oh, yeah. A couple years later, those freshmen and sophomores ended up winning a state championship hey, themselves. Yeah. So, good, good. but the biggest thing about that is if you start thinking that you can win every game and you win every game, you're going to get complacent. You're not necessarily going to work to improve. Huh. And so in that semblance, failure is entirely important for improvement. I think it's essential for people to fail in general and to accept that failure will happen. Fail, failing a lot and failing significantly is the best teacher, like you said. Um, but just not even like failing, going through hardships and experiencing that and experiencing defeat and looking inward. It's the only place you can blame. There's a lot of people, they, they fail and they look outwards. Like, it can't be me. That's the narcissism. That's the parents speaking or yelling at the coaches, the kids, the umpires. But really, when you do have a beautiful moment, when you do fail and you have a chance to end it and realize shortcomings that are there that can be addressed, I think that is a very powerful moment. I think that's why a lot of people should not be afraid to fail. Yeah. So, getting back to the parents. Um, right. Goddamn parents. There's another couple of things that have been happening a lot in youth sports lately that have been extremely negative, other than parents yelling at refs and scaring people from 